a lot of water coming in strong here. A lot of the residents of this mobile home park are already getting their trailers, hauling them out to higher ground, but a lot of them say they still don't have a plan of action. Earlier, the water levels here were just feet away from the ground level of some of these homes. As of right now, they are rising. We spoke with one resident who says he was here when this area over flooded in 2017. He told us it took him about three to four months just to be able to come back to his property after the water went down, and he's hoping this won't be the case again. For almost two weeks now, I'm, I moved out two and a half uh, trailer parks full of uh, uh, all their, everybody's trailers, their vehicles, every, all, their, all their possessions by myself. And uh, now the water's cresting and uh, my stuff's still down there and, and I have to get it get it up and now my road's uh, rot, uh, rotting away. And this is the road he's talking about. People are still trying to haul their vehicles in and out of it. It is a risky move to make, but he says he's determined to do it if need be. We also spoke with a property manager out here who tells us he's concerned that leftover materials from construction at a nearby bridge might also be what's causing the rising water levels. He says the flooding is already causing backup in their water systems for their basic needs. We did reach out to the county and a county official tells us they did have a team go out there to assess that construction site and say that they did ensure that no materials were blocking any of the water from flowing through. They also tell us that this construction site should be at a long enough distance to where it shouldn't be causing any blockage here or any rising water levels. Uh, for now, the residents say that they are doing the best that they can. Some say they are taking advantage of the nearby evacuation center at Yolo Middle School and that they will be staying there tonight. For now, we continue to monitor this area and we'll provide you with the updates as we get them. Reporting in Newman City, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News.